One of the biggest threats to California condors is poisoning from lead bullets. But because of the Endangered Species Act, it's illegal to shoot them. So, how does this happen? You probably know that lead is toxic and can cause serious health problems for humans. Condors are no different. These magnificent and somewhat awkward looking birds nearly went extinct in the 1980s, largely due to lead poisoning. With a wingspan of nine feet, these birds are not only impressive, but they're also important to the ecosystem. Condors are scavengers who eat dead animals before they decompose and start spreading disease. Sometimes these animals are dead because they have been shot by a hunter using lead bullets. When a lead bullet hits its target, it shatters into a bunch of tiny little pieces, tiny enough to go unnoticed by the giant winged scavenger just trying to get a meal. In 1982, there were only 23 birds left. Thanks to a big conservation effort, there are now more than 400 condors living in California and Arizona. But lead poisoning continues to be a problem, not just for condors, but for other birds that scavenge on dead animals as well, including our national symbol, the bald eagle. Some hunters still use the traditional lead ammunition, arguing that alternatives like copper bullets are too expensive or that there isn't enough evidence to prove lead bullets are bad for wildlife. But in this case, the evidence is pretty clear. We know what lead does to humans. People who eat the animals killed by lead bullets may be at risk, and there's plenty of evidence to show that it's also hurting birds. Some state game and fish departments have even started offering discounts on copper bullets or prizes for removing all parts of an animal from the environment if it was shot by a lead bullet. Condors won't be able to survive without human help if lead continues to be a problem. The best way to improve the chances of these iconic birds is to stop using lead bullets to kill the animals they eat.